Greetings family, hoping this message finds you well and safe and I can't help myself, I got a cheesy grin right now and I'm cheesy because I got a new book. So um, here's how I wanna talk about the new book. You know how um, athletes commit to mastering their craft? So if you're a basketball player, then then you shoot a lot right if you're if you're a football player uh specifically a, a receiver then you catch a lot of passes over and over and over again it's it's the discipline it's the ritual right um the uh if you're if you're a mechanic um you're only as good as uh your commitment to mastering your craft at fixing things right well uh, I have a difficult time explaining to people what it is I do. Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest about that. I have no idea how to explain to you what it is I do. But what is easy for me to do is tell you what I've committed to to mastering my craft. Um, so one of the things I've committed to is being more intentional about understanding logic. I say a lot about critical thinking. And within that critical thinking is understanding logic and logic models. You know, you'll hear people, um, if this and this and this and this, then this must be true, right? So they put these these logic models together, and and what I what I've experienced is this frustration, um, where we stop listening to each other, and we're fighting about how that doesn't make sense. And so what I say is one of my superpowers is I pay attention, self declared. Whether you want to debate that is not my concern so i say i'm really good at paying attention so uh one of the things i do to master my craft is i you can judge me later i buy books um about logic problems and drills like like this is my free throw this is my pass as a receiver um this is my engine i have to fix right so so why study logic models and like take drills and understanding logic models. Well, let me let me give you a for example what would be in this particular book, okay? So I'll, I'll read two of them. Bill will pass Logic 101 if and only if he does his homework. If doing his homework is a sufficient condition of Bill's passing Logic 101, then it must not be a very hard course. So Logic 101 is not a hard course. Bill will pass it if he does his homework. If doing his homework is sufficient for passing, then it must not be a very hard course. So logic's not a hard course. So if somebody said that to me, logic's not hard. And I would ask, uh, why would you say it's not hard? Could you elaborate further? Well, all Bill had to do was his homework. One, if you're Bill, can you appreciate how you might be offended? Two, what is it about the homework that you've applied? The course must not be hard. I've taken all kinds of courses where the homework wasn't hard, but the test was, right? Here, here's another one. Uh, let's see, uh, something cheesy, something simple. Um, if you feed the lawn, it will grow. If you feed the lawn, then if it grows, it will have to be cut. Feeding the lawn means that it has to be cut if and only if there's plenty of sun. Therefore, if there's plenty of sun and the lawn has to be cut, you have to feed it. Now, if you're looking at yourself like, what? Like, that's the same thing I do. What? Like, when people make their logical arguments, I'm in my head like, how did they put those things together, right? And at first, it seems frustrating. And to you, it might seem exhausting. But here's why it matters. Uh, if we're going to have this authentic relationship we say we want. Watch this. Uh, the community appears to be divided. The organization believes that a good trainer uh, or facilitator would be able to help us understand our lived and learned experiences. So I see Alonzo's coming and Alonzo is black. Therefore, Alonzo's probably going to talk about all the bad things white people did to black people. And therefore, Alonzo is not a good trainer. 
as ridiculous as that sounds, that's how some people think, right? So I'm noticing it's like each individual point is a domino. So if this, 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 and this are true, then this whole thing must be true, right? Let's take me out of it. Look around the country. If the conversation is about, uh, let's, low-hanging fruit. It's going to be Black History Month in about a week, right? So, if you bring in a black speaker to talk about the civil rights movement, and right now we are banning all conversations about critical race theory, then that means... The black person we brought in to talk about the civil rights movement is automatically going to talk about critical race theory. And therefore, we can't have anybody black talk during Black History Month. Sounds crazy, right? And yet, that's what we're doing. So why does this matter? It's, it's too easy for me to talk about race, ethnicity, and nationality. If you take this to a professional context, right? Watch a person make a claim and then ask them how did you arrive at that if this and this and this and this are true then what else are you saying is automatically true it doesn't make it right family and that is how i spend my time and if you had a hard time following this video i'm gonna tell you i love you anyway but here's why i brought it up because i got my book and i practice logic models and I practice drills, and this whole book is full of them, including the solutions, which may or may not make sense to you if this is your kind of thing. But it is my kind of thing. But you can make it your kind of thing if you're tired of arguing with people. So, that's all I have for you. I study logic models for the people who care. When people want to know the books I read, these are the books I read. Um, it allows me to be a more authentic partner and facilitator with you. With that, I do hope this message finds you all well and safe and healthy and patient and diligent. I hope it finds you examining your own logic you're putting together to make your arguments and draw your logical conclusions. Um, and I hope it finds you, after that examination, applying some critical thought and accepting that your logical reasoning uh, is not automatically true. Stay safe, everybody. I look forward to seeing you next time.